that combating tissue Asian Medical Institute provides you high quality and free of corruption education. It is very important in training future doctors because from your knowledge, from your readiness, from your skills will depend, will you help to your patients or will you harm? So that is why it is very important for you now to study, to use your all time and all your energy for studying, for getting knowledge for acquiring new skills and for improving them, for enlarging your scope. And only in this case, you will make a good doctor in future. So uh, today, I want to talk with you about etymology of medical terms. Modern medical terminology is one of the most extensive systems. More than that, this system is considered as one of the rapidly expanding and developing terminological systems. Etymology is a branch of linguistics that studies the origin of words. It means it indicates the source language, the initial meaning of word and which changes, phonetic, semantic changes due to some linguistic and historical processes were undergone in order to acquire more than meaning. The most interesting ways to create medical terms are borrowings, metaphorization, metonymy, and eponymy. Sometimes ancient myths and legends uh, are used like sources of medical terms. So let's see some examples. Atlas Atlantis, Atlas is the first cervical vertebra. Atlas is a titan who according to Greek legend uh, held the permanent on his shoulders. Same like titan, Atlas, for cervical vertebra is holding head. Tendo Achilles or Tendo Cantaneus in Latin. Achilles Tendo. Achilles is an uh, ancient Greek hero who was in invincible but was killed being wounded in his heel. According to the myth, uh, his mother Thetis beeped the baby Achilles into the waters of the Styx River. The body of Achilles became invulnerable except the heel she held him by. So in the human body, this uh, tendon is also um, very often wounded. Caput Medusa. A plexus of dilated veins around the umbilicus, seen in patients with portal hypertension, usually as a result of a liver cirrhosis. It may be seen in newborns also. Uh, this um, this uh, dilated veins got the name Caput Medusa due to similarity with the mythical monster Medusa Gargon, which had wrinkling. Uh, snakes on the head instead of hair. Some anatomical structures got their names due to similarity. So let's see similarity denominations. Fibula, calf bone. In ancient Rome, fibula was called a brooch for fastening clothes, consisting of a needle and a staple connected by a hinge or made from a single spring coil. Tibia, chin bone, derived from Latin word tibia, which was used for both pipe, flute, and chin bone. Primitive wind instruments were made from wood, reeds, and animal chin bones. 
piriformis muscle or musculus piriformis is a muscle of the internal group of muscles of the pelvis. It, uh, this, uh, these muscles uh, got their names due to similarity to the shape of pier. So piriformis muscle means muscle having pier shape. Uh, some anatomical names were results of misconception or translation mistakes. Let's see these examples. Artery. Uh, can, uh, in Latin, will be arteria. It consists of two parts, air and terio. Terio means to contain. And this name reflects the false idea of ancient uh, doctors that. Um, Veins contain blood and arteries contain air. The anatomical strange name for the vein of the hand, vena cephalica, which means head vein. It is probably the result of etymological mistake of the translator because in Arabic manuscripts uh, for this vein he used the word al kifal al kifal from Arabic means external or superficial, but translator identified this word with Greek kefal, had. So that is why vein got this name vena cephalica. Rectum, rectum intestine. If you translate word by word, it will be straight intestine. Greek physician Galen, during his anatomical studies during, uh, of animal corpses, uh, noticed that this part of intestine is straight in shape. That is why uh, he called this part of intestine as rectum. But later, later Vesalius, uh, he established that uh, in humans, it, this part of intestine is the development of medical technological systems began in ancient Greece. So the first sources of which uh, the names of many diseases appeared were the works of such ancient thinkers as Alcmeon of Proton, Hippocrates and Aristotle, and uh, all these Cornelius Celsus. After them, their students continued uh, to develop medicine and introduce new terms and concepts into medical terminology. Uh, eponyms are proper names that have become common nouns in a particular branch of knowledge. In medicine, as a rule, these are the names of diseases, various pathological conditions, any concept, method, or drug by the personal name of the person who discovered or invented it. So let's study eponyms. Fallopian tubes, or Latin scientific name is tuba uterina. Gabriel Fallopius studied the structure of reproductive organs, and he was first to describe the structure and function of uh, uterine tubes. That is why these tubes were the named after him, Fallopian tubes. John Langton Hayden Down, the scientist who first described the disease, the cause of which is an extra chromosome in 21st pair, which he called Mongolism, and which was later named after him Down syndrome. Ringer's solution is named after Sidney Ringer, who in uh, 1882 to 1885 determined that a solution being infused a frog's heart must contain sodium, potassium, and calcium salts in a definite proportion makes the heart is to be kept beating for a long time. B. Lynch procedure is a form of compression suture used in obstetrics. 
It is used to mechanically compress an atomic uterus in the face of severe postpartum hemorrhage. It was developed by gynecological surgeon from Sierra Leone, Christopher B. Lynch. Halstead operation or radical mastectomy is a surgical procedure involving the removal of breast, underlining chest muscles and leaf lymph nodes of the axilla as a treatment for breast cancer. So today, today guys, we discussed with you different sources for medical terms. I hope my uh, video lesson was interesting for you. Thank you for attention.